Hey guys, it's Thursday, May the 5th. Welcome back to my channel. I'm out here, raring to go. I have my first order. It's picking up at McAllister's Deli and it's for $6.50 and it was going like 2.3 miles. I'm like two buildings over from the restaurant, so let's go grab it. Oh. Jennifer H. Thank you. I am 2.1 miles from the drop off. It's going to take me about five minutes to get there, so not too shabby. So let's go get it off. I have a delivery for Jennifer H. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Here for Patricia. That one right there. All right, thank Have you. Have a good day. You too. I am about a mile away from the drop off, and it's going to take me about four minutes to drop it off. So let's go get rid of it. All right, guys, I have my next order. It is on DoorDash. It's picking up at first watch. Looks like there's only two items and it's going 2.4 miles for $6.50. So I'm only about two minutes away from the pickup. So let's go grab it. Hi, I'm picking up for Stephanie R. DoorDash. Stephanie. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, that's the one. Thank you. Oh, oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. I finally got an order. I've been sitting probably for half an hour. All I've been doing is throwing junk at me. I took one on DoorDash, picking up at McAllister's. Uh, it's going 4.3 miles and it's for $7.50. Uh, there's three items. It might go up maybe a dollar or something like that. But if not, you know, I'm just trying to get moving right now. So I'm just a couple minutes away from the pickup, so let's go grab it. All right, guys, change of plans already. I had an order come across on Spark. Uh, looks like it's for $26.50. Uh, going 3.7 miles, $19.50, I'll get paid today, and then there's a $7 tip on it, and it is a shop and deliver, and I'm only picking up eight items, so it should be pretty quick. I'm going to unassign the DoorDash order, so let's go shopping. All right, so I am 3.5 miles away from the customer, and it's going to take me about seven minutes to drop it off. I already texted them and let them know I was on my way with their Walmart order. So let's go get it off. So they also said to uh, please bring to the reception desk at the main entrance. So must be some type of business or office or something like that. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, I have another order. It's on DoorDash, picking up from Twisted Fresh. I'm trying to stay out in this area because I have to take my car in to get it looked at um, for the estimate for the insurance company. So I'm gonna just do this one real quick. I've got about a half an hour before I have to be there. So it's for $9.50. Uh, my iPhone showed 10.4 miles, but it picked up my mileage from before I, where I picked up the Walmart order. So uh, it's probably going to be about half that, I would think. It's probably not a very good miles to money ratio, but you know, I thought ah, I'll just take it while I'm waiting. I'm about a mile away from the restaurant and it's going to take me like two, three minutes to get there. So let's go grab it.
Thank you. All right, so it looks like I'm about 4.5 miles away from the drop off, and I will have to come back that 4.5 miles, so um, just to get to where I need to go. But like I said, I'm just trying to make a little bit of money while I'm waiting, and this is going to take me 10 minutes to get there and 10 minutes to get back. So uh, looks like it's a leave at door, so let's go get it off. So the customer texted me and um, wanted me to make sure that it was the correct order. I guess they got a burrito or something uh, the first time, so they had to remake it and send it out. At first they were just like, can you please make sure that it's uh, the mahi tacos? And I'm like, uh, you want me to look inside your container? And then they wrote back just to make sure that it was a styrofoam box instead of foil. Uh, I'm on my way now to go drop it off. Okay guys, I just took an order on DoorDash. Uh, actually DoorDash kicked me off a while ago, but I was able to go ahead and just dash now. I had a schedule for 4.30 and it was like 4.01 and it still let me dash now, but it didn't ask me how long I was gonna dash, so I don't know how long I'll be on the dash now one, but at least I'm scheduled. So I have an order picking up on DoorDash from Faux Good, and the total mileage on it is 3.6 miles for $6.50. Uh, there's just two items. I don't know that it'll go up, but sometimes it's maybe a dollar more. So I am like right across the street from the restaurant, so let's go grab it. All right guys, I'm about three miles away. It's gonna take me about nine minutes to get to the customer, so let's go get it off. Okay guys, that order went up from $6.50 to $7, so went up a little bit. I was close, I said a dollar, but no, it didn't happen so all right I have my next order it's on Grubhub um, driving almost seven miles it's 6.9 miles uh, for this order but it's picking up from Dos Realis and it's for $14.10 so it's gonna kind of put me up in an area that I don't really like to be but uh, it was hard to pass up the $14 so I'll make it work I can still get orders up in that area they're usually just not very big ones I don't expect them to go up usually so I am about eight minutes from the pickup and it's three miles so uh, let's just go get it on board Okay, so when I went into Dos Realis, they did not have the order. I wasn't going to wait on it because they told me it was going to take like 20 to 30 minutes. And I forgot today was Cinco de Mayo, so that place is just crazy in there. So I went ahead and placed the order and I unassigned it uh, so at least it would be in for the next driver. And I just got another order on Grubhub and it's for uh, seven miles also. It's kind of taking me out to where I live. So I may have to come back uh, without anything or if I get something out there, that's fine too. Uh, but it, it's hard to pass up the 1766 at this point. I mean, it's already five o'clock. I've got three hours left. Uh, I'm still pretty far away from my goal for today. It's just been, it's been a rough day because I just haven't had very many good offers so um oh great okay i just noticed this order is picking up at wow bow which is going to be worse than dos realis because wow bow takes about 30 minutes once grubhub sends the order to a driver and i'm like sitting 
it's just right over my left shoulder here. Um, it's in Fazoli's. So Wow Bow's a virtual restaurant inside Fazoli's. So I don't know. I'll go in and check and see if it's ready. If not, I'll see how long and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep the order or not. So let's go find out. How how long are we talking? Fifteen. Okay. If I don't get anything else, I'll wait around. All right. So I'm just sitting out here in my car waiting. Uh, if I get something else on another app, I'll go ahead and take it and then just unassign this one. Uh, they said it'd be about 15 minutes, so we'll see. Uh, and while I was in Fazoli's, I ran into uh, one of my viewers here in the Kansas City area. So uh, shout out to Nick and his wife. Uh, they said they just found me uh, over Easter. So I uh, hope you guys are subscribed. If not, you guys better hit that subscribe button. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully I'll run into you again sometime. And actually, Nick, you guys are the first one I have ever seen out and about that recognized me. So that's kind of cool. So thanks for saying hi. I appreciate that. Yeah, anybody that sees me out and about, feel free to say hi. Don't be shy. I don't bite. I promise. All right, guys, I finally have that on board. It was more like 25 minutes instead of 15, which I know that's what it usually is. But, I mean, it was almost $18, so, you know, I can afford you know, a half hour. So I'm about 6.6 .6 miles from the drop off and it's gonna take me about 11 minutes to get over there. So it should give me time to try and get another one in for the hour um, before it's up. So let's go get this off. Oh, you guys, I can't believe it. I saw an order come through on DoorDash. Oh my gosh. It came through on DoorDash for $9 but Para showed it for $43.50. Three minutes after I picked up that stupid Fazoli's and it was only going like not even three miles. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. That's the fish that got away. Ugh. It had a $40 tip on it. That's crazy. The thing is too though, it was at Frontera's Mexican restaurant, so it might have been a wait, but for 40 bucks I could have waited like an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes for it if I had to. It's just frustrating. Okay guys, I just got two orders on DoorDash. It wasn't stacked, it was an add-on. So I got one for $6.50 picking up at Dos Realis, total of three miles. But it has eight items on it, so it might go up some. And then I got another order for $6. It's going an additional 1.9 miles, picking up at McAllister's and it has two items. So, you know, that one could be a little bit more, um, but I don't really expect it to go up. So I am sitting in the parking lot of Dos Realis. So uh, let's go get that one first and then we'll go pick up McAllister's. Colton, it's up here. Thank you. All right, guys, got both orders on board, and I'm headed to the first drop off, which is the Dos Realis. And I am 2.4 miles away, and it's going to take me about seven minutes to get there. So let's go get it off.
All right, guys, that first order went up from $6.50 to $8, so it went up a little bit, uh, just like I thought it would. So now I'm like 1.8 miles and five minutes from the second drop-off, so let's go get her done. Okay guys, I finally took an order on Grubhub. I tell you, these orders have been really bad. I've had a lot of order and pays for me Ranchito, but I'm not waiting for those orders, not on Cinco de Mayo. Seriously, it's been like almost an hour and I normally would even take this order, but I'm picking up at Taste of China and it's on Grubhub for $9.04 going 5.1 miles. So the pickup itself is 2.3 miles away and seven minutes. So let's go grab it. I'm picking up for Kathy H. It's a red hot bike. Yes, thank you. Okay guys, I am 2.3 miles away from the drop off and it's going to take me about 6 minutes to get there, so let's go get it off. Okay guys, I took an order on Uber Eats for $20.50, it's going 2.6 miles, so it is an excellent order. The only problem that I might have with it is it's picking up from me Ranchito which is a Mexican restaurant. And once again, it's Cinco de Mayo. So I don't know if the order will be ready. I'm hoping that it's ready when I get there and I can move along quickly. Uh, so I'm about 0.7 miles away from the pickup. I wasn't very far away and it's gonna take me just two minutes to get there. So let's go see what we got. <laughs> probably couldn't hear her in there the music was so stinking loud but um, they were like an hour behind on all the gig apps I mean it was worth a shot it was a good order I'm sure that's why the customer paid twenty dollars and fifty cents to try and get somebody to wait for their order but I'm not waiting an hour not for twenty dollars I've got another order on me right now that I took on spark I'm now about 5.5 miles away from it. It's going to take me about eight minutes uh, to get up there. The order's paying out $25.47. I'll get $10.47 today. And then uh, $15 of that is going to be a tip that I should get tomorrow. DoorDash so. kicked me off again. So it's been happening more and more. I don't know if I'll log back on the DoorDash again. I mean, it's already 7.45. I'm going to drop these two orders off on Spark and I may just call it a day. I've had some really good, really good days. So like yesterday I made 267.41 and the day before that on Tuesday, which is really odd, I made $309.72. And I had a couple of Spark incentives that paid out. So I think I got like $90 in Spark incentives. So that's why, you know, I made so much that day. But, you know, you take the money from where you can get it. You work what's paying, right? Anyway, I'll go pick these two orders up and I'll let you know uh, how far away uh, I am from the drop-offs. All right, guys, they're both on board. One of the orders has 11 items and the other one has 22 items, so nothing really big, thank goodness. The uh, first order is 8 minutes away and 3.4 miles, so let's go get it off. Okay guys, I'm on my way to the uh, second drop-off. Uh, it's starting to get dark and it's kind of raining out a little bit, so I didn't uh, record the last drop-off. So I am 2.9 miles away and it's going to take me about seven minutes to uh, drop it off so let's go get it off all right guys i got that last spark order off and um i had a little trouble finding the apartment but you know i had it done within about five minutes i took a doordash order and it was picking up at brew baker's bar and grill 
So I have that on me already and I'm on my way to the drop off and it's about 6.3 miles and seven minutes. The original order was for $7.50 for 8.9 miles. But the reason I took it was because the drop off of that last bark order was right next to the restaurant and this is kind of taking me towards home. So I thought I might as well just get paid for heading that direction. So let's go get it off. Okay guys, I'm calling it a night. It's about 8.48. Today was kind of a rough one, so uh, I didn't hit my goal today. I just was getting all kinds of junk orders, like unusual amounts of junk orders. I, I just wanted something decent. I wasn't even looking for anything large. I just wanted some decent orders, and I just wasn't getting them today. So I guess it was payback from earlier in the week. So uh, I had a couple good days, like I said, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to work too much tomorrow. I've got a lot going on. I've got to get my brake pads done and they couldn't get me an appointment until 10. So that's probably gonna take up most of the lunch hour. And then I've got uh, a birthday party for my great nephew at uh, five tomorrow night. So won't be working, you know, tomorrow night either. And it's usually, you know, Friday nights are usually my biggest money making nights. So. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I'm still ahead for the week, uh, and I should be okay. I think I'll probably only need to make maybe 80 to to $100 tomorrow. So if I can do that, you know, I'll be happy. And um, I'll just have to work all day Saturday and, until I hit my weekly goal for sure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, I have a lot of viewers that haven't subscribed yet. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So I'll leave you with that, guys. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video. Did I not accept the dang thing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I got it.